Hey guys, welcome to episode four of the Quartermaster Podcast. We're really excited to be here today. We have an interesting topic today of creating tax-free fringe benefit deductions with your smartphone. Yeah, who would so, ever thought a smartphone is going to create tax-free benefits for you? So, you know, Ryan, you have your, matter of fact, your wife is calling she you. She is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, believe it or not, as an, an employer, as a business owner, you can get a deduction for smartphones and the service each month for you and your employees. So never had thought we'd ever have this conversation. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I mean, you know, you thought about 10, 12 years ago, you know, this would never have been a conversation, but smartphones are so prevalent in today's uh, society and so crucial to even just our, our workforce to be able to take as a mini laptop, yeah. to be able to take with you anywhere that you can go. Um, I, it's, I guess it's about time that we have something like this. Yeah, it, you know, we're such a so, mobile society, even yeah. in our own practice here. You know, we, we have employees all over the country, and, you know, they're, they're utilizing their cell phones. We have an app on there that is, uh, goes into our phone system. So it makes a lot of sense that, that, that the IRS finally realized that this is a growing need and a growing demand. Yeah, awesome. So let's get into the meat of this a little bit. So um, first of all, um, what qualifies as an employee? Who can actually use this deduction, or who can this company use? Or yeah, who very company good question. So yeah. mm-hmm. it's going to be the owner. Mm-hmm. Uh, it can be any of the employees, even a 1099 contractor who works for the business as well. Now, the, you know, the, the key here, the IRS has three specifics. I'm, I'm about to read this here. The employer needs to be able to contact the employee at all times in mm-hmm. case of a work-related emergency. So, you know, you're going to be attached. Mm-hmm. And you have to keep that in mind that, you know, if this is a benefit that you're going to provide for your employees, that they need to understand that the reality is, based upon the IRS guidelines, that if you call, they need to be answering. Uh, that's number two. Uh, number two is the employer requires that the employee be available to speak with clients when away from the office. Well, mm-hmm. Really, I believe that's a real easy one just because that if, listen, if we had a, a client call in mm-hmm. and be able to transfer over, that should be uh, an expected. Uh, Absolutely. So were these cell phones uh, the company would be able to use, I guess, or provide, this is not like a personal, is it going to be like a personal cell phone for the yeah, client? Certainly they can do one of two things. So mm-hmm. you can use your existing phone. Mm-hmm. So like, for example, like your phone. Yeah. So we could pay for your service. Mm. Uh, we can even get you a new phone. Oh, nice! And the co- yeah, yeah. <laughs> the the uh, the the company would pay for it. Yeah. Uh, now, let's say for example, we have somebody in our office who already has a brand new phone. Says, mm-hmm. "Listen, I don't need uh, a phone, uh, but just pay for the service." Mm-hmm. And so, you, the nice thing about it, Ryan, is you don't have to detail your phone calls either. Mm. So you don't have to come to me and say, "Okay, here's my uh, report from this month from the cell phone company saying I called." Or I talked to this many people that were business related, and this is personal. There's absolutely no quote unquote accountability from the IRS perspective. Gotcha. Is there any, um, do you have to be a certain business structure or entity type to be able to take it this? Yeah, so pretty much it covers all of them except a sole proprietor. Um, so if you're a sole proprietor, unfortunately, you're going to miss out on this here. Now, if you elect to be taxed as a partnership or an S corporation or even a C corporation, then you can have this benefit yourself. But if you are a sole proprietor, LLC, uh, absolutely not, unfortunately. You can't use it. Okay. So who would uh, this primarily benefit, you think? Uh, what type of businesses do you think? This Pretty would much any for? kind of business. Uh, yeah. I mean, and the nice thing about this here is it's not an issue that we have to be concerned about uh, giving one benefit to one employee and not to the other. In other words, it's not a mandatory mm. where if you do it, you got to do it across the board. You got to do the same amount, the yeah. same benefit. So you can pick and choose. So maybe it is just your C-suite or maybe it's your you know, your managers, whatever the cases you choose to do so, you can do that. You don't have to do it for the mail clerk. Okay, that's, that's pretty neat. Um, like I said, I can think of a number of scenarios too, just, just in our own business. We do a lot of travel mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, there's, uh, because we are in the tax world, there's tax deadlines and our travel does not always adhere to tax deadlines. So yeah. sometimes like this weekend, you know, <laughs> the 15th, April 15th, we will be out of office traveling and we also need to communicate. And I, I could see it easily being ap- applicable there. Um, but other businesses as well. Um, so when did this actually come about? When did this, did, was this something that happened this past year? Relatively recently. Uh, actually, I think it was in 2000 and, uh, you know, let's see, I don't know, 
20, 21, somewhere. I think yep. it was 2021, actually. Yep. Uh, and so, sorry about that. I should have yeah. that on, on my, <laughs> but 2021 yeah. is when, you know, after COVID, that, that changed a lot of things mm -hmm. where people could not work in the office. They had to work from home. And so, you know, you're not going to bring a brand new uh, phone system into your home or a landline or whatever the case is. So I believe the IRS just recognized that this is our society today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like I said, I mean, the, the, the need for mobile services, the need for to be able to communicate with your team mobily and with COVID changing the, the work scene um, and everybody working remote, it's, it's, it's critical, like I said, for companies to be able to expense that. Yeah, so I'll tell you one thing. If I worked for AT&T or Verizon, I'd be yeah. you know, uh, uh, broadcasting yeah. this from the high tops uh, just because, I mean, it's, it's a great benefit. You know, and, and now the one thing too, Ryan, mm -hmm. we have to keep in mind, that it cannot be in lieu of pay, mm -hmm. uh, meaning that you can't say, listen, I'm going to pay you, let's say, $200 less a month. Yeah because I'm going to give you this benefit. You yeah. can't do that So, yeah. you, uh, from a discriminatory standpoint. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, it's not taxable to the employee, mm -hmm. and it is a tax deduction for the employee. Does that include, uh, it, so is it uh, just smartphones, or does that include like tablets and, and cell, like just cellular service, I yeah. guess? Yeah, yeah. Uh, iPads as mm -hmm. an example. So if you had cell service on your iPad, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, you know ultimately you're able to utilize that for business as well. So yeah, if you, <clears throat> again, it doesn't have to be a smartphone. It could be this, you know, this iPad here that I have, uh, that has cell service. Nice. That's pretty cool. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. So, you know, ultimately when it's, you know, we're here now, April 15th, coming around here just in a couple of days. Uh, but as you look through this year here and, you know, um, of course, inflation has gone up and maybe this is a perk that you want to offer your employees. Maybe it's something you want to say, listen, you know, listen, you've done a great job. Um, you know, we, for whatever reason, maybe from economic conditions, you can't maybe give them a, a raise. Mm -hmm. This little perk here can make a big difference because you know, yeah. you know, these days here phone bills are running hundred, two hundred dollars. Or mm -hmm. if you, if we were talking about Christmas. Christmas will be here before we know it. Yeah. Maybe that's a, an employee gift you want to give out. Yeah. But you have to look at the economics as well and you know see what that looks Absolutely. like. Absolutely. So is this for only W two employees or do independent like ten ninety nine? Yeah, the independent contractors ten ninety nine. So let's say for example we have someone who. Works with us who's mm -hmm. a 1099 uh actually up in pennsylvania so we could actually do extend that benefit to them as well wow, that's yeah. pretty neat now if you are a 1099 contractor meaning that you're an uh, independent contractor going around and working unless you are again uh, filing as an s corporation or a partnership you can't take that mm -hmm. so you lose out on that benefit just okay. to kind of reiterate gotcha well that's that's pretty neat um like i said i that would be a great benefit like you were saying um just because everything is increasing as far as price wise, that we know it, life's getting tough out there for a lot of people, that'd be a great benefit for your employees, and also you get the deduction as yeah. a as a company as well. One last thing I want to mention too before we go is, um, let's say for example the employee says, "Listen, you know that's I appreciate this here, mm -hmm. but I really don't want to uh, to have you know use my phone for the mm -hmm. company." Mm -hmm then they, you could have a separate phone. So they'd have to carry two phones. And I've actually seen people <laughs> carry two phones, and I'm thinking, oh, what a nightmare to yeah. have two phones, you know, yeah. that you have to. But that's an option as well, saying, listen, you know what, this is, you know, for, for business here, and, and this is what we expect for it. Or, and then you just keep your personal. So there's a lot of options there too. Okay, well, that's a pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Anything else? No, I just, like I said, just something I thought people would like to know that uh, there is a benefit there. Now, again, I want to reiterate, if you're a sole proprietor, you don't get this benefit. And so, and the good, another thing, like I said earlier, we don't have to keep track of the minutes or the time spent on it or for personal and business use. Gotcha. So just to kind of go back over what we're talking about. So um, the stipulations for this, as far as when the company provides that to mm -hmm. their employee, um, they have to be able to be available pretty much whenever they call. Is yeah, that correct? pretty much. Yeah. 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 I That's, mean, certainly there's balance, you know, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not going to call my employee at two o'clock in the morning type yeah. thing and say, listen, let's talk about this case. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not something that's legitimate, but ultimately the IRS is saying, listen, if you are going to, um, offering this benefit, that's kind of the contingency, mm -hmm. uh, I mean the contingency, the requirement, mm -hmm. um, and that whether you're an independent contractor working for a company mm -hmm. or an employee. So the independent contractor, sometimes that could be a little, uh, maybe of a rub because listen, I'm independent, you know, mm -hmm. you, you, one of the things that we'll have this another session on this sometime about a W-2 versus independent contractor 
what deems them uh, and what can get you in trouble uh, mm -hmm. with the IRS and Department of Labor. But that's another conversation. But, you know, some independent contractors say, listen, this is my time. I, yeah. you know, I've committed X amount of time with you. So yeah. there might be some, some stuff there that you might consider. Okay. Well, that's great to know. That's good information. Well, listen, everyone, thanks so much for, for tuning in again to a, one of our great sessions about how to keep more of what you make. Um, this is just one way. It may seem insignificant, depending upon how many employees you have. It could be quite substantial. Uh, but we just encourage you, to, if you want some information about this here, we have a free report. All you have to do is just uh, click on below, and we'll be more than happy to send it out to you. Thanks, and have a great day.